everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to film film part three of everything I've ever coloured updated 2022 for you. Um, so this is the other half of the second bookshelf. So these books um, have quite a lot of pictures in them. The first few I think don't have as many but there are quite a lot. <laughs> Um, so I don't know, this could again be an hour and a half or it might not be because I would say there are less books compared to the second part. But as I said, there's more pictures, so it might take a while. Anyway, we're going to start with um, Lizzie Mary Cullen. So I have The Magical City. I don't think I've done anything new in this one. I don't think, I mean, I might have. I might have, but I, I just can't really think if I have. Um, it might be the magical journey I've not done anything new in. It might be that I have done in this one. So I have this picture, which was the first one I ever did. Um, uh, obviously, it's Sherlock Holmes in, I think it's Baker Street. And obviously, Sherlock Holmes lived in Baker Street, if you know the stories. So I have that one. Um, let's see, obviously, there's some here. There's one there. Oh, I have done a page recently in this. I forgot. I have done... So I have done some in this book from this year because I, I have done this lovely one from Japan. So I think this is meant to be Mount Fuji because there's Fuji, not Fuji, Fuji's a country. Mount Fuji. So here we have Mount Fuji um, behind and I did some blue flowers. I, don't, I thought maybe that they were poppies. I've done these red ones as poppies and then I think I thought I'll just do those ones blue. So I have. Um, but yeah, this was a really nice one to do. It was quite fun. Um, and then I have this one, which I feel everybody has coloured this picture the exact same in their books because everyone has copied, or not copied, but followed Peter um, Hewitt's tutorial because a lot of us didn't know how to use ink tents. So she was great at showing you how to use them. Um, but yeah, I see so many pe people who have done this picture the same, <laughs> but that's okay, you know. Um, I have a feeling I may have done this one this year as well, which is The Globe, which is um, Shakespeare's Theatre in London, and you can just still go to see it today. It's still there, still standing from the 1600s, I think, was when he was around. I could be wrong. Might be 1500s, 1600s. Anyway, um, I have some stickles and some glitter paint in the sky and some gel pen as well. So, you know, just want to show that. Um, so we have that one. Oh gosh, I think my really horrible garish one's coming up. So here's the very bright San Francisco. <laughs> but it is sparkly, which adds a bit to it, I suppose. But yeah, a very earlier on one. And I have talked about it before, so I shan't mention it again. And then I've got the International Space Station, which is quite cool. Um, I do like space stuff, so I find that all very fascinating. And then, is there anything else? That might be it. I think that is it for this one. So I, um, I'm glad I've done two more pictures in it. I think I realised I hadn't done many, so I, I did come back this year. So Magical Journey, which is what we're going to see next. Um, this one, I don't think I've done any this year, I don't think. So it, both of these, um, The Magical City and The Magical Journey, I'd quite like to do some more pictures in so hopefully I will because I really do enjoy doing Lizzie pitch, um, books the only thing is is that sometimes I do find it's a bit hard to make heads and tails of the what's going on in the pictures sometimes um, so I have this one which is of where's the name <laughs> it's a bit tricky because I've kind of probably painted over oh here we go La pa Paz Bolivia so that's somewhere in Bolivia, like a festival going on there. And then this one is, does it have it on there? I don't know if I can see if it's written on there. Don't think so. Well, this is somewhere else in South America. Oh, here we go. Streets of Cusco. I was, <laughs> I was thinking it would be down the bottom because the last two were. But anyway, there we go. So kind of basic. I did a couple of pictures of the streets and this is kind of what they look like. So... I know colour-wise there's nothing that exciting going on, but... Ooh, whoops, looks like the stickles may have fed through there. Um, and then I have got this uh, unicorn one, travelling... 
to Japan from South America, which is pretty cool. And then I have done this Tokyo one here, which I really like. I did do this a few years ago and then the stickles on the Japanese writing there. Um, yeah, and it was really, really nice and fun one to do. I like the colors, they're quite nice and bright. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we have the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I love the one that Peter Hewitt did. I think it, I think it was this one. It, there is another picture, I think, of the Sydney Opera House, I think, in the Magical City. I could be wrong, but because um, there's the Opera House here and this is the bridge. But um, I like the one where she's done it, where she's drawn people walking it, because you can walk the bridge, and I have done that. I did walk the bridge when, when I uh, went, which was quite cool. Uh, very awesome experience. I don't know how I came across it. I just thought, yeah, let's do that. I'll do that. That sounds fun. Anyway, this is, I think this this one here is the first one I did in here. And yeah, I just, I love the stickles that I've, that I've put <laughs> on it. You know, I think they look really cool. Um, it was really fun to do that one. I do feel like maybe a painted background would work really nice as well. But I think I didn't know what colours to do at the time, so... I'll leave it as is. So there's everything in the magical journey. Um, next I have the magical Christmas. This seems to be the one I actually tend to work in a lot, which I do find funny. <laughs> but um, Christmas in July and Christmas time, and just in general, even in the winter, I do seem to get around to doing pictures in the magical Christmas. So I have done the most in this one, which I do find hilarious. Because um, you would think the other ones being not Christmas ones, I would end up colouring in them more, but no, it isn't, but, you know, whatever. So I have, the, I think, the three wise men. I think that's who that's meant to be. Um, I do think the ink tents background, because it dries so quickly, is a bit streaky. So maybe next time watercolour might be better. But um, it's very sparkly because I put lots of glitter, or sorry, metallic paint on it, should I say, not glitter. I was going to say glitter paint, but it's not glitter paint. And then I have this uh, Father Christmas, and he is very sparkly with lots of stickles. I really like this one. I, I like the colours and things I chose for it. It's nice and bright. And then I have this double page spread of Christmas in New Zealand, which actually <laughs> I have had Christmas in New Zealand. When my parents lived there, I did go visit. So I have experienced Christmas in New Zealand, and it's really strange it being hot. <laughs> And sunny, but um, you know, nice different way to to celebrate it for sure. So I have done that one. I have this double page spread of the Twelfth Night, which is another Shakespeare play. Um, I don't actually know this play. I I've, I've heard the title, but I don't know anything about it. What's in it? What happens? Not sure. Um, and then I've got the Galleries Lafayette Paris. Um, I think this one was Buddy Color KP. There's a few Buddy Colors in here actually because we both have this book. Actually, that Three Wise Men one was one, but she never completed hers, because I think um, it wasn't going the way she wanted, so she ended up like not finishing it, which, you know, fair enough. These things happen, but um, I really like uh, this picture. It was quite nice to like, have a look at pictures of it. Um, then I think we're onto my skating uh, beef eater. Although, actually, I don't know if this is a beef eater, because I know the beef eaters wear red. This might be a different type of beef eater. I don't know. I'm not versed enough in the knowledge of what their different uniforms mean. If they're if like he's got a different position, or if they just happen to have a black one and a red one, who knows? But I think it's a beef eater. So they guard the Tower of London, and then I have another double page spread that I did with KP, which is um, Sherlock Holmes. Him and, and there's Watson over there, and I think one of them is probably his wife. I don't know who the other lady would be. Maybe the cleaner, or. Um, there's a lady that like looks after the house. It might be her. Um, she like cleans it and things like that. Um, anyway, there's that one. Um, maybe there's one more, or that might be everything. I think. Oh no, it looks like that might be everything. So that's everything for that one. Okay, my next book I have is Tally Ho by Lizzie Mary Cullen. I have done a few pictures in here. Um, I've recently actually got into more, this book a bit more um, so hopefully I will do a few more but um, I've done this one which is from of St Ives in Cornwall and it's got the little Cornish pasties which I think is really sweet so I just thought that was a nice one kind of to do 
for the summer, even though I know the summer's over now, but I just thought it was quite sweet because quite a lot of people go to Cornwall on their summer holidays in the UK. I have been there, just not in a long, long time. Uh, next, I have Stonehenge. And I wanted to do this one because it's one that's close to me. And I didn't realise there is actually Glastonbury in here. <laughs> I didn't think it was Glastonbury, but I looked, I was looking through it the, uh, a few weeks ago and I realised it actually is Glastonbury. So I need to do that one. It's of Glastonbury Abbey. Um, which is where near where that tour is. Um, it's the same place. And I have this double H spread that I did. Um, of a canal boat because that's quite a like iconic British thing that you'll see. Um, I grew up uh, sort of doing a lot of bike rides along the canal. My dad's cousin had a canal boat, so I used to go on that when I was a kid. Dropped my favourite hat in the canal, which is really sad. But I also loved watching the TV show Rosie and Jim, so I named it Ragdoll after. Rosie and Jim, and the water does have some beautiful glitter gel pen on it. And it's also got glitter gel pen here as well. I think it's like the Jewel Metallic Hybrids by Pentel. So yeah, this was a really fun one to do. That's everything I've done in this book so far. So hopefully we'll do a little bit more. Okay, and now we're onto the last one that I have, which is Bon Voyage. The only one I don't have of Lizzie Mary Collins is the Spanish one. Um, I think I was thinking of getting it and I don't think you can get hold of it anymore. I don't know. <laughs> haven't looked, but I don't think I like the pictures in it as much. So it's okay that I don't have it. But I mean, part of me would like it just to complete the set. But um, these ones, I don't, I like the English, um, the England one or the United King. I think it, I like the, the one I just showed you anyway. I like that one. Um, I've only done one picture in it, which is this one of Burgundy. Um, because <laughs> I just prefer her other pictures in her books and these ones just don't seem to call to me as much but I was determined to actually colour in it because I thought this is one of my books I've not coloured in and I'm making the aim of trying to colour in all uncoloured books so I have done a picture in it and there are quite a few pictures I do like in here so hopefully I will get round to doing a little bit more in here so maybe next next year you'll see that I've done something um, next we're on to, um, after this book, it will be hardbacked books. So I have Fairy Tales by Emily Liderhall Oberg. Um, and I have done quite a few in here. I love the paper in this book. Um, so I have the English edition of this one and then the other book I have of hers is, um, is in Swedish because they only did a Swedish edition of it as far as I'm aware. And I'm going to not flip through every single page, otherwise we'll be here forever. So let's just do this and then I can find one. So I have this one, which is one I did a few months ago and I have used some paint on it, metallic paint. Some of it is chameleon type colours or colour shifting. Not all of it is, but some of it is. Um, and yeah, I really enjoy doing that one. Just reminds me of the lion, the witch and the wardrobe a little bit, that one, because she stood in, in front of a wardrobe. And that's the only story I know that has magic wardrobe in it. <laughs> Um, so I also have this one. This one I did a f quite a few years ago now, but there's lots of nice stickles on it. I really like the colour colour combos that I used on that one. Oh, I've got this one with the goldfish and seahorse and lots of other aquatic things in a fishbowl. And then I've got like a pastel-y kind of background. Uh, these are the Jane Davenport past, pan pastel-y type set things. And then I have this rather glittery frog. So I used this really glittery paint that I got from KJ Designs. <laughs> and I used it on this frog. And I really love this picture. I love how it came out. Um, the glitter does come off though. Unfortunately, it's not what, if I was to rub my hand off it, a whole load would come off. So um, I like the paint, but sadly the glitter doesn't stay on it. I mean, that will be fine as long as I don't keep rubbing it. It'll, not, it'll be fine. This is the first one I did. And... I really, really love, love this one. The background, I don't feel like maybe I should have done the circles. I do think it's fine. It's not terrible. But again, if I was to do this again, probably wouldn't do that. I think I just didn't quite know what to do. But it still looks fine. I really like my uh, stopwatch. No, I think it's just a pocket watch. There we go. Pocket watch or pocket clock. <laughs> I don't know. One of those old-fashioned things people used to have tied to their waistcoat. Um... 
yeah, I like that. I like how that came out. And then I have this bunny snow globe. Um, yeah, not loving the clothes. I think I find it quite hard to figure out what colours to do for clothing. So I don't actually really enjoy colouring clothing in. Um, and then I have my bunny. Uh, I think I did this one this past winter, I think. Not 100% sure, but I feel like I did. Um, so yeah, I like the colours I used. And I do feel like the yellow goes quite nicely with all the blues and whites and things. And I have got like a, I used like a pearlescent -y, iridescent type of pastel um, for the background. Oh, and then I have this one with um, a, the ca a castle just in a flower. And then, yeah, try to do something a bit more interesting with the background. or see metallic paint there shining away. So there's that one. And then there's this one with the balloon, which I really like. Um, I did find, unfortunately, I use those Echo Line watercolours and they dried so quickly on here. It was really hard to be able to blend because they dried so quickly. It, it dried before I had a chance to then blend it with the other colour. Um, and I think I had done this picture before, so I'm not sure if they would bleed through on this paper if I didn't have something on the other side or if I was just lucky. I'm not sure because um, they do tend to bleed through a lot of my other books. So I have this one. I think I did this one with ink tents mostly. It's okay, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Like the colors and things I can just define. Um, I just think, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure. There's just something about it that I don't, that makes me think, I don't love that one. Anyway, there's everything I've done in fairy tales. Um, I do really wanna try and do more of the summary pictures in there actually. <laughs> Next I have The Saga or Sakana, which is by Emily Ladeho Oberg as well. This is her second book. Sadly, cannot buy this one anymore. Um, I was lucky because originally the first run of print, a uh, first printed book she had sold out. Then they did another printing of them. So I finally was able to get this one because for the longest time I couldn't get it. And then as soon as she said, oh, we're printing some more, I was like, I'm getting it. So I did. Um, and yeah, sadly, they're just like, it hasn't been reprinted, but you can still get the um, other one, the fairy tale one. As far as I'm aware, I mean, I haven't looked in a while, but it was there last time. So I have this um, page. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's the title, nameplate page. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I just I'm sat right by the tripod and I just knocked it. But I don't think I knocked it too hard, so it should be okay. Um, here we have another one which was giving me Snow Queen vibes. So it's quite sparkly and I guess kind of muted in colour because figured that's just what it needed to be so um this was the first one i did in here of this troll king and actually i've been watching that new lord of the rings show and he kind of reminds me i know he's a troll but he kind of reminds me of the dwarfs in the in lord of the rings a little bit <laughs> i don't think that the dwarves would like to be known as trolls in lord of the rings though because the trolls are quite different in the lord of the rings uh law but that's okay um, and then I have this bunny and I really like this bunny um, and the colours and things that I used. It was really fun to do. Oh, I'm missing one here. And I have got this uh, gnome, maybe like a gnome sleeping in a glove with a fox. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that one. And then the next page, if it'll open um is this one which i did last year and i really do like this one i think it's really pretty i like the colors and things i used and then i have this one which possibly i did last winter actually i think i might have um i don't think there's anything no there's nothing that's sparkly apart from the some gel pen on the fox's scarf but i decided to make them white foxes because i thought that would be quite nice and yeah you can see i've used that Echo line paint has bled through, but I'm quite lucky because it's around the edge and it did it on the, another page. Um, I can actually just paint over this. <laughs> so it's not a big deal, luckily, but I probably will refrain from using it in the future. Um, and then I have got this one with my King Triton, or Triton, that's his name, King Triton. 
um, and I did lots of like paint splatter for the background. I just, I really like this one. So this one I did a few months ago and I think that might be everything. Yeah, that's everything. So hopefully I'll do a few more in there. Um, I do quite like my hard, the hardback books I have. I really actually really love those pictures. So I'd say they're probably my favourite books out of my collection apart from like the eerie ones as well. So next one to Clara Markova. So I have tenderful enchantments and I have managed to do a few pictures in here this year. Now here, here is my terrible nameplate page. Don't know what I was thinking with the colours. <laughs> I think it's more the colours than anything else. Um, but also I just, I've just really discovered that polychromos just are not suitable for the these books. Um, so yeah, we have a very nice picture there. Um, I have this one of a deer and I think I did this this year. I think I did. I'm trying to have a think about it. I think I did that one this year. Oh look I did. Back in March I write when I do them. So that's handy. At least I knew that that's when it happened to be. Oh it looks like I've got one here. Um, just oh have I got another one? I do have another one and I also did this one so I did that one this one and that uh, the last one I just showed you at the same time actually so I went back and forth between them this one I absolutely love and adore I love the background I love the colors of things that I used I think this is one of my favorite pictures I've done this year actually and I finally decided I was going to do one of the ones where you could turn the flap and then there's something in it because I thought I've never done one of them I have all her books apart from the first book and I have never done the flap thing so I was like I'm gonna have a go at doing one of them so I decided to do this one um and then I have got this one which was I think for maybe two years ago oh no it's last year a year ago I did it a year ago there we go um and this is my first one which okay again like I said I used the polychromo so it doesn't look terrible but I just I just don't feel like it like if I used other pencils I feel like it would look better that's just me but um yeah there are some stickles on the cupcake again I think I could have done the icing a lot better now compared to when I did that but that's okay so I did that in 2018 so quite some time ago Oh. Uh. Okay, there's no more there. So I have this one of this mermaid and she's very, very sparkly. And I really love the colours and things on that one. I think it looks really cool. And then I have got this one um, of a seahorse and it's very glittery and pretty and yeah, I really like that one. I think I literally did that one pretty much straight after. Okay, next I have this um, bat one, which is quite cool. There's some stickles on. Did that for a few um, uh, <laughs> years ago. I was trying to think, a few Halloweens. Halloween, Halloweens ago. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of the word then. And then this whip it's still here it's still here I am gonna try and see if I can maybe do it maybe I'll try and do it this autumn but there we go that's all I've done in tenderful enchantments um next I've got fairy miracles um I think I have done one this year in this one I think I've done one for each I've done one in each of the books this year now this is the only one I haven't done the name nameplate page and I think I was contemplating about whether to do that this year but I just ended up not doing it so um, maybe the next time I colour in it, I will do that one. Okay, oh, this is the one I did. And it was, <laughs> I just couldn't for the life of me think of colours and things. And I just, I think it's the background for me. I liked the cut, no, what it was, I liked the colours I'd chosen for the, everything else. But I just felt like the background did not turn out how I wanted it to be. And I felt like it kind of didn't go with everything. But it's okay, it does look okay. So I have used some pearlescent and metallic and glitter chip paints that I have on here. So it's, and stickles, so it's very pretty and sparkly and shiny. And I just, I love this unicorn. It's so cool. So I have that one. Um, 
I have this one, which I did, I think, a summer or two ago. Might have been last year. We'll see. Yeah, it was last year, last August. I did that one because I grew some foxgloves in my garden. So I felt like doing that one. Um, oh, I've got this one which is one of my favourite ever pictures I've ever done. And especially in, if I was going to choose a picture out of all the Clara pictures I've ever done, this is probably my favourite one that I've done out of all of them. Here's my very garish gouache cat. And now we're going to... Um, and then I've done this Christmas one, which I think I did as a buddy cuddle with KP. And there's some stickles and things on there which is really cool. And then I've got this double page spread one. So I didn't do it um, at the same time. I did this one, I think 2018. And this one I did in 2020. So there's two years difference between them. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I did try to make sure that the colors kind of matched with the background at least because you know, it would look a bit weird. So I did use different pencils. This one's got prismas. These ones are the poly Koinor poly colour Hardmouth ones. I don't know. They're Koinor ones. Um, but yes, there's a lots of sparkle on here. There's some stickles on the icing, and then oh, there's only some on the presents. There's not much stickles on the other one. Um, and then I think that's yeah, that's everything I've done for that one. Okay, so next I have got fairy celebrations and I have done the nameplate page of this one and I really like this one. So this one looks nice. And then I have done this page, which I have put some metallic paint on because I thought that would look quite nice. So I've got that one. Um, I think this one, I think, yes, I did this one this year because I know that's a Beeswing gold paint and I only got it this year. So it must be from this year. Um, yeah, and I really, again, I love the colours that I've done. I like that it's bright and oh, I just like it. It just looks really nice. And then look at that. Look at all the shine on it. There's no, yeah, there are some stickles. I didn't think there were any stickles on it then, but there are stickles. And then I have this double page spray. I'm just checking there wasn't anything else. There's double page spread, um, which I really love as well. I think, again, it looks really, really nice and it's very bright and just pretty. I tend to do a, quite a lot of bright pictures in here. And then I have this mermaid. And then, again, there's some stickles on it and gel pen, I think. Um, so, very nice and pretty. I do like the underwater ones in her books. They're really nice. Um, and then I have this one, which I did last year. And again, love the colours. I love the honey. I just I love everything in general, how that one came out. And again, I use the Echo Line paints. But yes, they have bled through, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> because um, it's only on the other side. So, And then I have this one. I think this was the first picture I did in this book. I think and I really love how it came out I love my shadowing I wish I could do this kind of shadowing all the time in my books but for some reason like I just seem to do it be able to do it sometimes but just not all the time and this is one of the times I was able to do it and it looked kind of cool um I think that possibly is everything yeah I don't think I've done any of the Christmas pictures in here oh my goodness you can, you can see I've tagged a page I'd like to do. So maybe this Christmas I'll do one. And next we've got Fairy Touch of Magic, which at the moment is the latest one. But she has just released a new one now. I don't know if it's actually out yet. I thought it was supposed to come out on the 7th of September. But I've seen nobody with the book. So unless it's taking forever to come in the post, I don't think it's actually out, out yet. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get it. I just need to see a flip through first and then I have to see how much it is because, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to cost quite a lot of money to ship it, sadly, even though it's within Europe, um, you know, Brexit is not, uh, something to help with that. <laughs> um, 
Yes, yeah, so I know it's not just the UK. I think there are quite a few other European countries. The shipping is quite high as well, even within the EU. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. But anyway, I've done this page, which I think maybe was the first one I did in here. I think. I'm not 100% sure. And I've done that in a pencil background again. <laughs> I'm always so shocked that I've done that. So I did that one last October. So maybe I didn't because I did it last October and I definitely didn't get this book last year. So... I'm going to say that was not the first picture I did in here. Um, so I have this one of this little cute little family and their macarons and the blue macarons always remind me of Grogu from, you know, whatever it's called, Mandalorian. I have this um, nice little floral fairy, maybe. I'm not quite sure what she is, but she's got a flower on her. Yeah, so I did both of those two pictures before I did that one. This one is a recent one that I have done and I have some like red poppies and there's some iridescent gold paint on it and there is a little bit of stickles, not a lot, just like around her like uh, dress and on the sweeten in her hair and then a little bow on the on the cushion down here. Um, so I haven't done very many stickles on that page. Um... So I've done all, not done anything there, I mean, I've done all those, that'd be nice. Um, I think, oh, this was the first one I did, I think, I think, I could be wrong, I think it is. Um, it's very similar to the other page in Fairy Celebrations, actually, with the, with the sort of movable house. So I obviously did that one for Halloween, and yeah, this is 2020, so I think that was the first one I did, and I obviously just did the nameplate page for Halloween last year. So here's a Christmas page of my rooster, and I really like like this one I think it came out really nice and then I think the only other one I have is this Christmas one and there's obviously some stickles little bits of paint on there not a lot of like iridescent type paint but yeah and that is everything I've done in Clara McCover's books so now we're on to Maria Troller um, I have all of her books and I'm waiting for her new one to come out and it's basically just a compilation of her favorite pictures from all the books she's done but there are going to be 22 new pictures in it so i will get it because there are a few pictures i probably wouldn't mind doing again um because again some of the this book i've had for quite a long time so some of my colorings in it will not be as an as how i would maybe like to do it to now because we'll see my colouring has evolved <laughs> over time. Um, and then also I just want the new pictures as well. Because who wouldn't want like new, pitch new pictures? So I, um, oh, I did this uh, this year because I got the Kurataki Ziggs. So I thought I would try them out um, on here and to see if they bled through and things. And I think they slightly ghosted maybe, but they were fine. And then I have the nameplate page um main pick page i did these two this year so i did this one with the deer and i really like the flowers the color for the flowers um i was trying to go for like like with this one kind of different colors than what i have used in the past and then i have this wreath as well with lots again lots of different flowers i just thought it'd be nice to have a go at doing some of the ones with the black background because I haven't done very many. And then I have this one. So this would be, I mean, this is fine. I don't have to redo this picture because it's nothing exciting in terms of the flowers and things. But like, I just don't like how flat it is. <laughs> I feel there's no depth in there whatsoever. But, you know, it's fine. It's, it was an earlier one. So it's going to look a bit different. I do have this one here. And my little dear and I do like this one again it's quite an old one but I like I like it I like how it came out and then I think we're going to go to that garish yellow one here we go this is another one that I'm mm, I just think color wise mm. I mean I think maybe if it's a different background it probably would look better it's just the background I have don't think it quite went with uh, it but that's okay like I said the, a lot of these are trial and error and you don't really know and sometimes you just don't know what colours to use and things like that. And I think that's something I tend to get a block on. Um, and then I have all these vegetables and this flower. <laughs> Maybe it's an edible flower, I don't know. Um, yeah, I like that page. Um, I've got 
anything else in between this one nope so i've got this one next which i think i did last year um yeah with a, this flower that i really want to get in my garden one day so i've got that one oh and then that might be everything actually i don't think i've got any more yeah that's everything so i will hopefully come back and do some more but I have done a few this year in here so that's nice next I have dream wreaths and I have done one I think at least one this year I did mean to come back and do a mermaid one but I just never did sadly was my intention but I never came back so um I have this forever whip which again I don't know when I'll get round to maybe accomplishing but sometime it was the name plate page but yeah I've just not finished it so i have this one i think i did this one this this year i feel like i did it this year i'm not 100 sure but i feel like i did it this year but again i really like this one and how it came out it's very pretty the paper in this book is just amazing it's so thick and it just works with so many mediums so i have this one with my very sparkly rainbow it's got wink Stella and stickles on it it's so pretty um yeah so i really like that one this is the picture I've been meaning to do and I think it's the water. I'm like, what do I want to use for the water? Because I had done quite a few aquatic pictures and I was just getting bored of using turquoise and blue. And so maybe I can do this one and probably use turquoise and blue, but I can do it after I haven't used those colours for so long and then maybe I'll feel more like I fancy doing it. That might be the best option there. So there's one there. So we have this picture from a few years ago so it's quite an old one there are some stickles on it nothing nothing exciting and then I will have the first picture I've ever done in here which is here and that's got some stickles I think I mostly use ink tents and uh yeah this one's okay and then I think this one is the last one I think I have in here um and I think it's really cute. I don't love how, I like the colours I use the door, just not how I shaded it. <laughs> it just looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, it just looks weird, doesn't it? But anyway, everything else looks really nice though. So I like everything else. So I think that, like I said, I think that's everything. Yeah, everything for um, Drum Reese, which is the Dutch edition. And, and next, all the rest are in Swedish. Um, so I've got Skimmins, Timmin. Taman, Skim, Skymin's Taman. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think this is Night Garden. I think. Um, so yeah, again, I have done this little dragonfly and the nameplate page because I tend to do those in her books. And then it's very sparkly. Um, I just obviously didn't. I need to go and do the other one in Dream Reads because I've not done that yet. So I have this picture here of some forest lady i'm gonna assume i don't actually know there's nothing there nope nothing here so i have this wildflower one which i really love this picture i love the colors i've chosen for the cornflowers and the poppies i think i really love it i actually drew my um grew my uh, first ever cornflowers this year um and they were blue ones and i did have a few white ones with like a purple in the middle so um yeah that was a surprise because I thought they were all meant to be the same color uh, must be some sort of mutation in them I don't know and I did have another like wildflower kind of bucket and it's weird my mum had it last year and it's from a supermarket and so she got all these kind of flowers in hers and where it came one packet of seeds they were cornflowers again and they had like it had seven seeds in it I am no joke, just seven. And then the cornflower bucket that I had, which was from Tesco, which was just the cornflowers, I had hundreds of seeds, hundreds. So I thought it was really weird. And unfortunately, nothing ever grew in that one because I don't think they gave me enough seeds. <laughs> and they obviously didn't give me a mix. And I did go back to the supermarket and um, I saw they had another one. So I, you know, kind of tried pried it open slightly to see if there were more, if I, mine just didn't have enough of the packs in and that one only had one in it had different flowers but it only had one packet of seeds too 
so yeah I'm really sad that nothing grew from there so I have put it underneath where the cornflowers are so I'm hoping that some of the cornflower seeds will have fallen <laughs> will have fallen into that one so next year maybe I'll have some cornflowers um I'll have to see if I can buy some seeds or something to put in there because it just it really annoyed me that I was expecting a beautiful garden or at least a little thing of uh of wildflowers and nothing grew a bit apart from some grass <laughs> anyway um I have got this one which was one I actually did last month um so I've got some lovely alliums and tulips and I don't know what these flowers are maybe Delph delphiniums maybe I'm not sure um but yeah I like the colors and things I've done for that and I have used uh, I don't know, an iridescent paint of some some sort and then like a glitter paint on the bees wings. I can't actually remember what that paint is. I think, oh, maybe it's Advent 11. I think that's what that one is. And then I have this one, which <laughs> love the flowers, but the background, maybe not so much. Um, yeah. And then this one again, which I hate, mm, not a fan of this one. It's okay. But to be honest, I think the picture in general, I don't really love anyway, so it's okay. I wouldn't feel like I'd want to redo that one, if you see what I mean. Next, I have Botanicum. I think this this one is one of my favourite ones of hers that she's done. So I have, of course, the nameplate page. I haven't done the little dragon. I should probably go and add that in. And then I have this one, which I used gouache on because I'd gotten some gouache paints for Christmas. So I wanted to try them out, so I did it on that one. And it has no background, sadly. Um, and then we have my Easter Bunny. Um, and, yeah, the background's kind of got some metallic paint on it, so and that one's okay. I have, ooh, I keep forgetting, this one's got pastel on it, wax, oil pastel, not wax pastel, so it feels a bit waxy still even though i've sprayed it i have sprayed it with fixative it just has that kind of weird feeling on it but it hasn't come on to this side so that's fine and then i have this one which again is an early one actually i did all this in watercolor because i was thinking that maybe i would use watercolor and gouache and stuff in this book but then i thought maybe that's not and then i have this one which has got soft pastel on it and i really like this one this actually reminds me of the ballerina's tutu a little bit um, I think I did that one last year. And then I have this little bouquet of flowers. And... Oh, I have this Halloween one. Again, not a massive fan of the background, but I think with, when it's like empty like this, it's really hard actually trying to think of what you can do because doing this kind of background, it doesn't really suit. But then it's like you have to draw something in, like a door or something or a porch. And... I was like, I, um, you know, if you're not much of a drawer, it's really quite baffling, I find. That's the only downside to some of the pictures and some of the colouring books. I'm a bit like, well, it just looks a bit weird with the weird background, like with that kind of blocked background like that. Next, we have Flora. Um, I think this one I actually got in Sweden um, when I went on holiday there a few years ago. So I have got the nameplate page done. I think this is actually Maria's cat, I believe. Um, so I have done this like daffodil and mm, I think this is, is this fuchsia maybe? And maybe some forget-me-nots. I don't know what this flower is. Um, I do tend to look up the flowers so I can try to colour them how they're supposed to be, but I don't always remember them. Anyway, I've got this one of the cat and I like the colours I have for the flowers here. I think they go together really well and then I hate the background on this in fact I am um, I'm just I'm not a fan of it in general even the gouache I use gouache paint but yeah it's just very garish um so that's fine but again at least I did it on a more simple one that's okay like you know does it matter that it's not beautiful or anything like that um and then I have this one of a blackbird sitting in a nest with some blossoms I think I did that right at the beginning of the year, possibly, or I did it right at the end of the year, but it's probably the beginning of the year, I thought. So I tend to focus on Christmas pictures in December. So I might have done that in January. And then I've got this Christmas one of an angel and some snowflakes. And the snowflakes sort of all got this nice glittery paint on. So yeah, that's everything for Flora. 
Next, I have Luna. Um, and this one won't have as many pictures in because it's a newer book. <laughs> I mean, it's not new because it came out in 2020, but um, it probably won't have as many in um, just because I have done more in the other ones. So here is the nameplate page and it's nice and sparkly. Have I done the page behind it? Oh, I have. Um, I have this lady with the bunnies and flowers. So that was a nice one to do. Um, I think I did this one this year, the cherry blossom. And I've added some glittery paint in there. And I tried to do like a dabbing technique with the um, paint. Because I love how V does hers. I can never get mine to look as nice as hers. I don't know what it is but mine just look a bit meh um i have this parrot this was the first page i did in here so he's got some stargazer lilies i think those are um well they could be tiger lilies but i think they're stargazer lilies not i'm not 100 sure <laughs> i know some flowers but i don't know all of them um oh and that's everything so i told you there wasn't many in here so that's all I've done for Luna. So I'm sure I'll come and do some more. And next I have Mandalan. Mandalin? Mandalan? Mandalin? I don't know. Um, not sure what the translation of that one is. Moon? Something? I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's like moon. I feel like it's moon something. Maybe. I could be wrong. Um, or night something. Um, I have done a few pages in here. Again, this is the newest book, so I only got that one last oh, December or November. Um, so I've done, as you can see, the nameplate page, because I always do the nameplate page, because um, I just really like doing that. Doesn't look like I've done anything in the first section of the book. There's one there. Have we got any? Oh, look, here we go. I found out a flurry of them now. So I have this light, cute little bunny with these flowers. And I did look up the flowers and they were kind of like a paley, pinky, purple, white. Like there was a couple of different like colours and that, that's what I decided to just do them as. I think originally I thought they were poppies and then realised they were not poppies because I really did fancy doing, I think it was this poppy page I fancy doing because I was in the mood to colour like loads of poppies. Um, so this was the first one I did and I uh, used some of my new paints that I got for Christmas that I bought myself. They were Christmas presents to myself, from myself. <laughs> um, and I used some of my new um, acrylic paint pens as well to just go over the flowers. And I really like this one. I like how that one came out. And I think the next one is this one here. Yeah, is this one. I did this one, I think maybe either in May or June, I feel. I feel like it was as we were going into summer and yeah, I just got a nice sort of metallic background and then bee's wing paint on bee's wing. Because just why wouldn't you? And I like the background for this one as well. I feel like the colours go really nicely. So there's that one. I think that might be everything I've done. I really feel actually I've missed a picture because I know I have got a sea picture I think it's in Luna. I've done one with an octopus and some sea stuff. So, aha, it is Luna. So, we're back to Luna. This is Luna. This is the picture I missed. Because I was like, I'm sure I have done one of these watery ones in it. Because each, the last few books, she's put like a watery kind of scene in. And then this is the one, for, I think, for this book. So, yes, I have done this one too. Um, I don't think I'm missing any other ones now. I think that's everything. And yes, I know if I, if I mark my pages, I wouldn't forget some. But like I said, I don't have all the time in the world to sit there and do that. <laughs> Maybe if I had like 10 books, I could. Anyway, next we're on to the last um, artist, which is Hannah Carlson. Um, this is the last set of books that I have for the shelf so I do feel like this video is a little bit shorter not massively but then I say that but then actually I have got a massive pile of Hannah Cars on books and some of them have an awful lot of pictures in so actually it could still take 
us um, a whole hour and a half, included with everything else we've done to the finish. So I have done this mushroom and it's supposed to be a bit sparkly. It's an, I feel like it, the sparkle is starting to come off it. So um, I have done the nameplate page and it is very stickily. Um, and I kind of turned this into a white gold bird up at the top here. Um, I have this bunny, pastel-y kind of bunny. And I've got this one. So, so this is like an earlier book. Um, the first one I had was Summer Nights. This is the second one. So there will be some sort of like pages that I think, yeah, I probably wouldn't do them this way. So I have some of these in her gold corn book, which is her compilation book. I have not coloured anything in that yet. <coughs> there are even new pictures in there as well. So I would like to do some of the new pictures. But um, anyway, I've done this one, which I did last year. I'm not sure... I feel like I have done some in here from this year, but I'm just not sure where they are. Um, I have this crown one. Again, I just think maybe with this background, it gets a bit lost. Um, I got this one, which I really actually love the autumnal type colours that I have going on there. Um, and then I have this seahorse one. I think I might have used ink tents for the background, as well as like some metallic paints. And then I have this jellyfish one, which is quite a few years old. Um, so it looks like it's this unicorn one next. So I have this unicorn one, and I think I used my Calero paints actually on this one because that's the only kind of like pearlescent -y type paints I had. So now I have like some cooler ones that I would like, and I probably would use those on it instead, but it's okay still still looks nice doesn't it and then I have this one which was in tribute to Katrine always colouring who I still miss I sometimes go back and watch her video like her completed pictures videos just sometimes it's just nice for inspiration or you know just to see her beautiful pictures um, and then I have this mushroom page which is one of my favourite pages in this book and um, it's again an oldish kind of one but I really like how I've done the mushrooms I think they look really cool I have this jeweled bug and then I have kind of used the same colours just with Neo Colour 2 over here. Just to kind of make it match. I have this double page spread. I'm so glad this one is in gold corn because I really want to redo it. Uh, I did it all in Neo Colour. But I just think, yeah, it's okay. But <laughs> it's not how I would like to do it now. Um, I have this snail carrying a little house or castle type thing manor on its back and there are some stickles and i just i like the colors that i used for that one it's quite nice um and then i have this one with the girl carrying or holding a bird and i cannot believe i've done a color pencil background again for this i'm actually quite shocked about the amount of color pencil backgrounds i've chosen to do in recent years and i'm thinking why have i done that when i have paints <laughs> For whatever reason, I decided to do it for this one. This one's like a few years old, I think. Um, and then there's loads of pretty stickles all over it because, you know, you kind of have to. Um, and then I have this one. Hate the background. New, not a fan of it. So we're going to move on because <laughs> it's not very nice to look at, I find. Um, yeah, so that is all of the ones I've done in Daydreams. I don't think I've done any in here from this year. So clearly I need to get back to it. Now I know I've done some in Summer Nights, I think. So we should have some in here. So I have the nameplate page. Did I do? Yes, I did. I did the B. There we go. There's the B at the front. Um, I've got the nameplate page and it's got loads of stickles on it. And some weird yellow dots in the background. You can barely see. This is the first one I did in Polychromos. Pencil backgrounds. <laughs> Before I had any paints and things. Um, this one is done in ink tents and yeah, again, it's okay though. It's not terrible, but, oh, I think I did colour pencil with the background for that one as well. I didn't even use ink tents. Oh my. And then I have a jeweled bug because I quite like doing the bugs kind of jeweled in here. I have this owl, which, um, mm, not loving the colour choice. I think it's also because I use the pencils I use as well. I'm not, I'm not loving the choices I made there. So I have... These flowers and these swans, I they're not double page spread, but I've used the same colours to kind of like link them together. Um, so they look quite nice. And I've got this house. 
And then I have these flying fish and I love this page and it's very sparkly because I use some um, Rembrandt glitter paint things on it and I just like the colour scheme that I use for it. It's really quite nice. I'm, I really like this flower one. I need to do that one. So I have this fish page as well. Um, I'm not sure what type of fish, maybe salmon? Could not, it might not be. I'm not really versed on my fish, so you know. I eat fish, not loads of fish, but I will eat some fish. <laughs> and uh, it looks maybe like it could be salmon, I don't know. Um, I think I did this one this year, and I use like Posca pens to outline the sunflower, and then I went over in pencil, and I decided to do a more ready orange sunflower. So there's that one. Oh my goodness, I got a cat by my feet and he was sniffing my foot and it's because it's near Apollo's dinner time and I was thinking, please don't bite me <laughs> to get my attention. Sometimes he does that. And I have this one, doesn't look amazing. So again, I think it's just my colour choices on that one. And then I have this bat. I do like the colour choices on this. Is this how I would maybe go about colouring things? I Probably not. I love my gem. I did follow a tutorial for that one. Um, and then I have this lady. I think I do have this picture in the Goldcorn book, just because I'm not a fan of how her hair's come out. The polychromos, I should have maybe gone for, you know, doing strands instead of just colouring it the way I've done it, because the polychromos just have not looked amazing with it. But everything else with the polychromos is nice. Oh, I have another mushroom page in here. Um, so yeah, that's everything in Summer Nights. Next, I have Magical Dawn, which I don't think I have done any more in. I don't think so. And it's one of my favourite ones of hers. But I'm very scared to colour in it. <laughs> because I don't want to mess it up. But I, I need to because I do have a second copy. So it's absolutely fine if things don't quite turn out the way I would like them to. So I have the nameplate page. Um, it is a colour pencil background. This was kind of like quite some time ago though. So... I did kind of do colour pencil backgrounds and I forgot about the little frog in the little trinket box there. But um, I do like this. I definitely would do it differently now. But I do like that one. Um, I have this scarab beetle one and there is some like metallic paints and things on there. Um, I've seen a very beautiful one of this one. But I haven't done it myself. So I have this crown one. This is an old one, but actually I really love the colours that I chose for this. I just think it looks really, really amazing, naturally. And then also the gemstones look really cool. Um, and I've got, oh, Apollo. Sorry, my cat. You know, like, they like to rub their faces to mark territory and stuff. That's what he's, what, that's what he just decided to do on my phone. Um, he's kind of, like, half sat on my lap. Oh, he's gone away now. Anyway, um, I have this lady here. Um... And then I have got this one, the seashell, where I tried to make it look like it was underwater. I'm glad I had a go at doing that. It does look quite cool. And then this one, I, I do think is a shame because I don't love it. <laughs> yeah. I think I just wasn't sure what colours to do, what to do for the background. And uh, yeah, I just think it didn't, it's not quite, it's not what, it's not terrible. It's just not what I envisioned for it. And what I want to to do with it i'm not sure but it's fine um i have this one as i just thought actually i've got a second copy so it's fine i can always redo it um and again this is kind of an old one but i was very proud of it at the time i still like it forever whip which i don't know if i'll ever come back and do but you know i'm not going to abandon it completely i will try my best to get back to it i think that's everything i've done in ugh, magical dawn so nothing new in there so i'm just going to move my coast out of the way because i keep knocking it all right next is seasons the book that has the most pictures completed in it because every season i do at least one or two so get ready <laughs> there's quite a lot in here now i don't think i've done no i haven't done that bit i have done the nameplate page though <coughs> so i'm getting a slightly dry throat from all this talking um i have got the spring little section done here um i love what i've done i just like i said last time i think i showed this 
I don't love this bit at the background, I, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. But I did want these little dot things to kind of show up. And I just didn't know how to do that with if I painted it and things. So I've, it's still lovely and beautiful. But yeah, and also the glow as well. I was like, how do I avoid like... <laughs> Because with paint, I would end up probably, you know, painting over it or something. So, yeah, one day I'll figure it out. Um, so I have this one. And then this one I did this year. And, oh, my goodness, it's so beautiful. I was inspired by somebody who did a really cool background where they did it these purpley colours. And then they used uh, metallic paints just to draw, like, a, these sort of leafy things in. Now, they did not use glitter paint like I did for the background. They didn't do that. <laughs> but I did, because I thought, why not? And then, yeah, I've got metallic paint and stuff in here. It just it looks so pretty. I love it. Um, oh, and then I have this Easter one with the Easter chicks, which I also did this year. It's very pretty. And I've got this one of this lady. I like the colours I used in that one. I've got the Bright Summer Nights page. Um, yeah, so I actually I might rebuy Seasons because I do feel like some of these pictures I'd like, I just would like to do again. I just really enjoy this book. And I, I love how I've done all my pages, but actually I just fancy just doing them again because, you know, I mean, like this one, I probably don't care about doing again, but, you know, but there are quite a lot of them I'd like to do again. Um, and I just did a kind of, I don't know, interesting try to do something a bit more interesting with the background <laughs> i tried um this is a whip which i started this summer i just did a background for and i just haven't gotten round to finishing it so i probably will even though i would be coming in this autumn time and really i should be coming in the summer um so i have this one from quite a few years ago and i think somebody just said they were coloring it and if you want to join then you could so i thought well Let's do it. So I did. Um, I have this lovely strawberry page. I like the colours I chose for the strawberries. And I did this one this year of this rose. I decided there was like an orangey kind of rose. Um, yeah, I do think I needed to add a bit more depth in there. It's just quite tricky when you want them to look pastel-y, like how you go about doing that. But that's okay. Again, I actually am lucky and have a second copy of this in the gold corn book. So, or if I get another copy of this book then I can do it so again and then I've got my autumn winds which I absolutely love this one I think this is one of my favorite of the sort of season pages is that one um and I've got my little turnip lady and I've got the mushroom see actually whilst I'm showing you I could uh be thinking about what I'm going to do for the autumn as now we're in autumn I will need to do a picture in here oh this is kind of nice um so I have this one the background does have some like uh, metallic paint on it. Oh, this might be a nice one to do. I might do that one. Um, I've just got this one. Sort of mushroom, mushroom, hmm, a nut and a maple leaf page. Oh, there is mushrooms on it. <laughs> I didn't think there were. Um, and I've got this witch one. I could do this cat one as well, actually. That might look quite nice to do on the other side. You know what? Maybe I'll make the cat not black because who said that all the cats have to be black at Halloween? I know traditionally they are, but they don't have to be. Um, I've got this winter one, which is quite nice. I think I would maybe have jazzed up with a few more metallic paints or pearlescent slash iridescent paint that I have now, which I didn't have then, but it's okay. You know, it can only work with what you've got. And then I have this double page Christmas spread, which I did last Christmas. And yeah, I really love it. I love the colours, uh, colour scheme I went for because I wasn't really sure what to do. I was thinking green, but then I thought, oh, but the trees, the tree's green, that's going to get lost. <coughs> so I went, took a gamble and went for a bright red. But luckily for me, it's kind of Christmassy. So I have this um, cat. And then I have these birds and some wheat. I really like that one. It was quite a simple one, but it was fun to do. I do love this one. I do want to do that one. Um, and then I think I've just got the page on the back, which is a robin on top of a Christmas tree with a bell. So that's everything for seasons. Oh. Right, jewellery box. Um, I don't have as many done in here, just because I don't. <laughs> 
Um, no, I haven't done that bit. So I have got my name hate page and it's nice and sparkly. Ah, this one I did this year. I was thinking, I was trying to figure out what book it was I'd done this in. I thought it was Daydreams, but it's not. It's obviously this one. So I have obviously got lots of nice metallic -y kind of paint. I have got stickles in the background. I have just um, sort of used my finger to kind of smush them so they're not so, um, you know, textury. There will still be a bit of texture. Now, V told me about that that I could just use my finger to move it around. So I was like, how did you do that with your stickles? And she told me what she did, so I thought, I'm going to do that too. So it will have a bit of texture, but it's not going to be as bad. Um, this, I think, was the first one I did. It's okay. <laughs> it's not not amazing. It's okay, but that's all right. Um, and then I have this one with these metallic bugs. She did like in a rose gold and a normal gold and then like a maybe a brassy kind of colour by the looks of it. I'm not sure what kind of metal I'm just going for on the other one. Then I have this one with this cat and I love the colours I chose and it's nice to do leaves that are not green. So I thought let's do something different so I did. Um, and I don't think I've done any more... So I think that house one I did was the uh, was the latest one I've done in this book because I thought I need to come and do one. Now, next I've got Sjol's Fronda, which is the, so from this book onwards they're all in Swedish as I got this book when I went to Sweden as well. Um, the paper in this one is not great for watercolour. Seems to be fine in the other Swedish books I have. I think it's just this is a different publisher. This is like whatever publisher this is and my we other Swedish ones have a different publisher so they've changed the paper Pagina group we'll have a look and see who the publisher is on the other one um, when I get to it so I've done this nameplate page and I have done this page with the lady and the fox I really like this one um, I like how it came out and then I have got uh, stickles gel on on it for the background because I just I needed to do something um, I have done this lady with the crab. I did that this year to match the other side with this crab and it's bled through here. Luckily in Goldcorn, I do have this picture again. So I will colour this in. I may have to do some jazzy kind of colour thing for it. But at least I can do it again. Now I have a cat and they are right in my way. Yes, that's it, Athena, hop off. There we go. And this one I really need to do because I want to make her look like seven of nine. <laughs> and every time I'm like, I'll do this one, and then I never do. Um, I have got my dragonfly one. I really like this one. This book I do find I don't, I'm not as drawn to you. Like, I love this one. This one's really nice. But I just, I'm not really, I'm not, not, not to this. You know, this reminds me of Luna in Harry Potter when she wears that big, um, lion hat thing to support Gryffindor and Quidditch. Maybe that's what I should make her look like, Luna. Um, yeah, I don't think I've done anything else. Yeah, I'm just not as drawn to this book. It's okay. Needs to say, won't be getting a second copy of this one. <laughs> um, but I love Hannah Carlson's work, so I will get her books. Right, now we're on to her new kind of um, range which is the Bretis Lafron books. So this is Bretis Lafron Midnight's Masquerade or Midnight Masquerade. Um, we will see who the publisher is for this one. Oh, here we go. Forster Trinicken, this one, I think. So the paper is different. So it does take watercolor quite well. This is the only nameplate page I've done in the new books for some reason. Just have to, but they're not very there's not much going on in them I think that might be why I'm I'm not a huge fan of what I've done here so we'll just you know forget that that's there for a moment and we'll move on to my actual pages which I look quite nice so love this one not a huge fan of the background but I love what I've done here so now it doesn't throw me off a little bit with this side because I feel like I have to equally do a similar background like as in like a dark background don't have to do it the same way 
but if I, I don't know, I just feel like maybe the pages won't go together as well. If I don't do that, I don't know. We'll see, but there is some like pearlescent tea paint and things on there. Um, and then I have got this lady and her mask. So I did like same kind of colours because they're supposed to go together. Um, I have got this one, which I did do this yeah and again i like the colors that i've chosen for this lovely lady dressed as a fairy she looks pretty cool and i think there might be everything in that one i don't think i've done any more no so i do like this one i do this next one i'm showing you which is Berettas from skog's cricket tales from the forest kingdom this one is my favourite one of the four she's done so far. Um, I really like it. So as you see, no name pick page done on that one. I have this lovely floral lady. I would love to do her again, actually. This one I might buy another copy of, maybe. <laughs> um, just because, I, again, I really love the pictures in here. They're really, they're just right up my street. Um, I have this lady who I really, really like how I've done her in here. I think this might have been the first one I did in here. And then I've got this, like, he looks like Robin Hood. He is going to be Robin Hood for me because I love the Disney um, Robin Hood movie and he is a fox. So I think that's, uh, you know, she's done that like in honour of that, I reckon. Um, and then I have got this campfire one, which has got some glitter gel pen to outline the fire. And then I have this deer which has got metallic um, glitter paint, not metallic paint, glitter paint um, and, oh, and some metallic paint actually on there. And I think that's all I've done in that one. So yeah, just a few. So these ones won't have as many in because the honeyer ones I just haven't got round to it. Because with her other books, I obviously want to do some in the other ones too. So there, therefore I don't get round to doing them all. So next is Bretislav. Beretta Slough from Huxen Stuga, and this one is Tales from the Witch's Cottage. So I should do some more in here soon, purely because it's very fitting for Halloween. Um, but I have done some in here anyway, when it wasn't Halloween <laughs> as well. Like I did do one recently, but it was kind of for a Halloween event though. But it was in the summer. It was summer, Hall summerween colouring, colourable, I don't know. Summer Halloween, there we go. <laughs> um, this one I have, I did like in the late spring, early summer time, because I really fancy doing the poppies and I did them in different colours. And then there is some nice paint on the bunny, on the bunny fairy. Because like some of these pictures, like this one, like it, you don't, it doesn't necessarily, or even that, doesn't necessarily associate that it has to be Halloween, does it? Like, I wouldn't think, oh, this is definitely uh, something for Halloween. Like, the witchy ones are quite Halloween-y. So I have this one, which, of course, I've got Apollo and Athena. I've made an appearance again. There's two cats all, like, frequently in these book, in this book. So I, I have made them Apollo and Athena. So, yeah, I don't love the background. I was, I think I did it with Ink Tents, possibly. Yeah, I think I've learnt my lesson. Don't do backgrounds with Ink Tents. They tend to not come out so great. So they're okay. Um, this I think was the first page I did and again got Polly and Athena. Um, I need to work on my black fur. I find black fur quite tricky to do. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I like how it came out. <clears throat> and then I have this one with the witch and the potions. So I used the polychromos and I don't feel like they worked as nicely on here as I would have liked. I just find that polychrome has just come out kind of dull looking to me. They're not as bright as they could be. It depends. Some books I use them in and they look lovely. And then other books, they just look really dull and grainy. Um, this is the one I did for the summer Halloween. And I love the colours. I wasn't really sure what to do. I just knew I didn't want a red or a green apple. I was like, I don't want to do that. And I have got some nice paint and things on there. I think that is everything I've done in here. So yeah, that's everything for Hots and Stuga. And now we are on the last book and there's only one picture done in here. So it's not gonna take us very long to look through. So this is Beretisla from Staden Blan Stajona, which I think is Tales from the Night Sky. 
or City Among the Stars, something like that. Um, Polly, can we please get off? Look, I've got one more book to do and then, then you can come and sit on the table. Okay, well, oh, gosh, look. <laughs> He's rubbing his face on the camera again. Could you not do that? Come over here. Come on. Come here. You're going to come and get, come for my hand now, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Unfortunately, it's a bit tricky for me to pick him up without knocking the tripod, so I'm trying my best to get him to come off. Maybe if I just open the book, he'll be like, oh, what's this? And kind of move out of the way. I've only got one picture to show, so, you know, it's not going to take long. So basically, I have this one. I'm going to try and manoeuvre it around the cat. Um, it is off this lovely piece of cake. And now the Bake Off is back on, it just makes me want to eat cake all the time because I love cake. Sadly, I cannot eat it all, um, all the time. You know, I wish I could, but, you know, we can't, we can't do that, sadly. It's not good for you. Um, so, yeah, I have used some of my nice colour shifting paints on here. Um, and I really just, I liked doing it. It was really fun. I said sort of like a vanilla sponge with strawberry. So that is everything that I've coloured for, oh, I've got a cat's tail. Let's maybe put that on top. So that's everything I've coloured um, for part three. So this is all of my uh, second shelf. So I hopefully can film one more part, which will be the third shelf because it's not got as many books on it. And some of the books won't have as many pictures in. I'm also going to do my PDFs as well with that next part. So that'll be the last part, which is kind of weird to think that I've made this journey. <laughs> but um, I also think that hopefully, again, maybe that video won't be as long. I feel like this one is like an hour and a half. I don't know because I'll have to go book, back and look through. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And I will see you soon. So bye.